We head across country to Inverurie, which derives its name from its location at the confluence of the River Don and its tributary, the Uri. These days a busy centre for this prosperous farming area and having good road and rail links to Aberdeen, it was also once an important centre for the manufacture of railway locomotives. Whilst today, oil and its related industries has brought renewed employment. Inveruri is the home constituency of the First Minister and leader of the SNP. Sloan's of Inveruri is owned and run by husband and wife team Rod and Mary Sloan and first opened in 1989. It's the largest retailer of country sports supplies in the North East. Approved stockists of major shotgun and rifle manufacturers, gunsmiths and repairers. Fishing permits on four beats of the famous River Don are available, as is a wide range of tackle. Sloan's also offers a superb range of hats, brogues, tweeds and outdoor clothing. En route to Ellen is Eat on the Green, a high-quality fine dining restaurant located in the quaint village of Adney Green. Run by chef proprietor Craig Wilson and his wife Lindsay. Craig has enjoyed a distinguished career, including numerous TV appearances, and is locally well known as the Kilted Chef, as previously named by Daybreak presenter Lorraine Kelly. A favoured chef of Scotland's First Minister, Craig has cooked for a number of high-profile guests and received many awards over his nine years of trading here. Fine food, using fresh local produce alongside unobtrusive, friendly service are the hallmarks of any visit to Eat on the Green. Altogether, something rather special. Nearby Ellen was the ancient capital of Bachan, is now almost wholly a creation of the 19th and 20th centuries, with its crisp granite buildings lining the riverside. Ellen Castle, a 16th century ruin, was one of the seats of George, the third Earl of Aberdeen, sometimes called the Wicked Earl, who had another castle in Aberdeenshire, Cairnbulg, and Wiscombe Park in Devon, and installed a brown-eyed mistress in each, and raised three flourishing families. We travelled to the coast, to Cruden Bay, and passed the ruins of Slane's Castle, built for the ninth Earl of Errol in 1597. Johnston and Boswell stayed on the 24th of August 1773 and said the prospect was the noblest they had ever seen. Indeed, it's broadly accepted that this cliff-top castle was the inspiration for Bram Stoker's Dracula's Castle. Bram Stoker was a frequent visitor here and stayed at the Kilmarnock Arms Hotel, which was named after Lord Kilmarnock, the father of the 15th Earl of Errol. It was whilst staying at the hotel he wrote The Watter's Moo, a strange melodrama about the smuggling at Cruden Bay in the first half of the 19th century. The Kilmarnock Arms is still offering guests the comfort and hospitality it did in those days when Bram Stoker wrote in the visitor's book in 1894, delighted with everything and everybody, and hoped to come again, which he did on a number of occasions, and eventually retired in the area. The hotel today features a beer garden, restaurant, a public bar, a lounge bar with a gantry of over 80 malts and 16 superior ensuite rooms, two of which are pet friendly. The hotel also offers an excellent lunch and dinner menu with locally caught fish and seafood, including lobster, salmon and crab. And after dinner you can enjoy a wee dram by the fire. Cruden Bay has been popular since the 19th century and enjoys a fine sandy beach and a championship golf course, one of the top 50 in the world. Another world-class course along this coastline has recently been built by Donald Trump, perhaps the world's most famous businessman and entrepreneur. Proud of his Scottish roots, his mother Mary MacLeod was a crofter's daughter from Stornoway who arrived in Manhattan at just 20 with Gaelic as her first language. Set amidst the Great Dunes, Trump International Golf Link Scotland lies along this spectacular coast at Mani Estate Balmedy. Providing world-class practice facilities, including an exceptional driving range with multiple teeing areas, a short game area and the largest putting green ever seen on a single course. Designed by golf course architect Martin Hawtrey, Trump's Championship Links offers breathtaking scenery and an unforgettable golfing experience. 
The brasserie-styled golf house restaurant offers a perfect venue for breakfast, lunch or dinner.